Hi guys! It's time to learn with Dr. Rosa. As we know, Chinese New Year is on the way. So today I have designed three themes where we will talk about the Chinese zodiac signs and the characteristics of each zodiac sign. Your zodiac signs reveals more than simply your age. It's a window into your personality, career, and prospects. So I would like to talk about the personality traits of the 12 zodiac animals. So your zodiac signs will definitely be covered. So remember to watch this video until the end so that you can find out what's the characteristics of your zodiac animal. So let's start with rats. Rats represents wisdom. People who are born in the year of rats are intelligent and charming. Next, we are going to talk about ox. Ox represents diligence. People who are born in the year of ox are hardworking and honest. Next, we are going to talk about tiger. Tiger represents bravery. People who are born in the year of tiger are brave and competitive. Rabbit. Rabbit represents longevity. People who are born in the year of rabbit are kind-hearted and friendly. Dragon. Dragon represents good fortune and authority. People who are born in the year of dragon are successful and innovative. Snake. People who are born in the year of snake are pliable. They are wise and compassionate. Horse. As we know, horses are always moving towards a goal. People who are born in the year of horse are clever and active. Sheep or goat. Sheep represents harmony and calmness. People who are born in the year of sheep are polite and imaginative. Monkey. Monkey are cheerful and energetic by nature. People who are born in the year of monkey are confident and charismatic. Rooster. Rooster represents punctuality. People who are born in the year of rooster are beautiful and kind-hearted. Dog. Dog is a symbol of loyalty. People who are born in the year of dog are honest and friendly. Pig. Pig represents joy and wealth. People who are born in the year of pig are happy and easygoing. Finally, we come to the third theme, Chinese zodiac signs, science or superstition. So down there, I would like you to comment. Do you think that Chinese zodiac signs is a science or do you think that it's an example of superstition? Let me know. So if you like content like that, where we spend some time talking about educational psychology, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I hope I have shown you that we don't need to force our children to memorize vocabulary. What we can do is that we can look into the festivals that's happening within a year. We can then look into the stories that's related to these festivals. So just today, I talk about the 12 zodiac signs that's related to Chinese New Year. If you like this video, then don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.